Welcome to today's exciting episode of Will It Run It? Today we're going to be checking if this Champion generator, inverter generator, can run this Harbor Freight Titanium Flux 125 welder. So in this welder it says 120 volt max 23.5 amps. Uh, I guess that's what that means. So input max is 23.5 whereas the rated AC amps is 25.8 on this gener on this champion generator. So on paper it should all work just fine. Um, I don't I don't know if there's a startup current on a welder or not. Uh, I would think there probably isn't. It's an inverter welder uh, and this is an inverter generator. So you're going inverter to inverter. Um, I would think it would work just fine, but we're gonna find out. Full disclosure, I don't have a lot of trigger time with that uh, Harbor Freight welder, so um, I don't know how well the welds are gonna turn out. Uh, the point of this video, though, isn't to review this welder, it's to review this generator. So I'm gonna crank the machine up to the maximum. I've got some scrap metal here, uh, relatively thick. The switch, turn it on, choke it, crank it. We're going to go ahead and give it about a minute to uh, kind of warm up and stabilize before we start pulling 23 amps on it. There you go. I overloaded it. The overload light is blinking. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is turn down the welder a little bit.
like I said, I'm just testing the generator, not the welder. But uh, there, I actually got a pretty decent weld with this generator. So did it run it? The answer, well, uh, kind of. Whenever we cranked the welder up all the way, uh, it did get an overload after uh, about, oh, I, I don't know, a little while of trigger pull. Um, so it didn't quite meet the full demand. Um, I did turn the machine back a little bit and ran quite a continuous bead and it was able to keep up. Um, I would say in a pinch, yes, this would be fine. I don't know as to the quality of that weld. Like I said, I'm not really familiar with that welder. I haven't done a lot of welding with it. Um, some of those welds I did didn't look so good. They, uh, they were very porous um, underneath the slag. That could have been my technique. I don't know if it was a lack of power or what, a lack of heat. Um, so hopefully that answers your question if you had it.